Hey kids, today we are continuing our series called Dollars and Cents, and it's all about having good sense when it comes to our money and stuff. It is so easy to walk in greed. Do you know what that means? When everything is all about ourselves and we don't want to share anything to anyone around us, that is being greedy. But the opposite of greed is generosity. And today we're learning how God wants us to be generous and get rid of greed in our lives. And we're gonna learn all about that in our lesson today. But first, check this awesome video. Welcome back to this series, Dollars and Cents. We've already learned some pretty important principles, haven't we? We learned that God is the source of everything we need. He's the one we should look to to provide for our needs. After all, He owns everything. We also learned how important it is to be obedient when it comes to tithe. You know what tithe is, right? That's right. It's the first 10% of the money we earn. We have to give that to God in obedience. That makes good sense, right? Today, we're learning another important principle, generosity. It's not something that comes naturally to us. I mean, think about your little brother or sister. One of the first words they learned was, Mine! Mine! <laughs> Mine! Yeah, we really like our stuff, and we want to keep it, all of it. But that's not the attitude God wants us to have. He wants us to give generously. Instead of letting greed take over our lives, we must develop generosity. In your lesson today, you're going to learn all about how when you choose to give to God generously, amazing things happen. It's going to be awesome. I better let you go so you can learn all about Moses and the Israelites and what happened when they practiced generosity. Until next time, this is Sophia. I pray that you continue to have good sense. Bye! A lot of people say, I only have so much money and stuff in my life. If I give it to God and others, I'm not going to be left with much for myself. The problem is, God doesn't want us to live being greedy and selfish. Instead, God wants us to reflect His character and God is a generous God. And He is always giving freely and willingly to us every single day. And that is exactly what we need to do as well in our lives. And we're going to learn all about that. But first, it is time to learn what you gotta know. What you gotta know, what you gotta know. Time for Boudreaux, what you gotta know. What you gotta know, what you gotta know. Time for Boudreaux, what you gotta know. Hey there kids, it's me, Boudreaux. That's pronounced Boo Joe. And I'm here to tell you what you gotta know. Today, we're learning all about giving to God and to others. So every time today that somebody asks you what you gotta know, you tell them. God wants us to be generous. Well, that's great, cause the other day, I found a whole wad of old rusty pocket lint I didn't want, and I gave it in the offering as it went by. Ain't that just so generous? No, that ain't generous. That's giving away something you don't even want. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I gave something, didn't I? Well, I suppose so. But we have to give above and beyond. We gotta get rid of the greed and give so that God gets the glory. So every time today that somebody asks you what you gotta know, you tell them. God wants us to be generous. And that right there, kids, is what you gotta know. Well, I'm Boudreaux from the Bayou, saying bye-bye, you. Today's Bible story can be found in the book of Exodus, chapter 35. It's a story about one of the greatest leaders of God's people. His name is Moses. God's people, the Israelites, wandered through the desert for years after escaping Egypt. They were on their way to the Promised Land, However, the journey seemed to really be taking forever. Moses had just come down with the Ten Commandments, but now he had new instructions to give to the people. He also had an opportunity. It was an opportunity to be generous. Moses gathered the people and he made an announcement. We are going to build a sanctuary for the Lord our God. 
A sanctuary is a building that is dedicated to worship. Moses told them that they were gonna pay for this building through the offerings of the people. He told them to gather their gold and gather their silver, bring their bronze. If you have fine cloth, bring it. If you have the best building material, bring it. Even if you had jewelry or gems, he wanted them to bring that as an offering. The entire nation of Israel was inspired to give. All the women began using their spinning wheels to make beautiful purple cloth so that they can use it to decorate the sanctuary. The people started going through their possessions and they brought their gold and silver, they brought their jewelry and much more. The best thing about it is that they were happy to give. Moses didn't have to force anybody to give. He just gave them an opportunity to be generous and they took it. However, they were so generous that Moses had to stop them from giving. He gathered the people and he told them, there's no more offerings needed for the building of the sanctuary. We have more than enough to build. He had to order the people to stop giving. Can you imagine being told to stop giving? Well, in today's lesson, you are gonna learn the importance of generosity, being willing to give to God and his people. It is the complete opposite of greed. And we're gonna learn this lesson together today. Exercises. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. My name is Vaughn. My name is Glenn, and we are here to pop you up. up. Yeah. yeah. Glenn and I are power lift up. Oh, yeah. We raise the roof. Oh, the only thing stronger than our muscles is our sense of humor. Oh, sometimes. sometimes. But you know what we need to hear? We need to hear today's knock knock joke. Knock knock joke? Yeah, I got the knock knock joke. You have another one? I do. Knock knock. Who's that? Banana. Banana who? Bananas are great, but the powder verse is better. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What? That was not a joke. You've been eating too many cheese puffs. I'm sorry. I liked it anyway. Here's today's part of us. Yeah. Remember this. A farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. Second Corinthians 9, 6. Oh, that was a powerful part of us. Yeah. But you know what we need, Glenn? What? We need the boys and the girls to stand up yeah. and say the part of us with us. Yeah, yeah, but we have to do it powerfully. Ah. So the most powerful exercise is head rolls. So everyone, get your head and do this. Ah. And say the power of us with me and my ah. brother on the count of three. One, ah. two, ah. three. Ah. Remember, Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. 2 Corinthians 9, 6. Oh, that was a very powerful part of us. You may all sit down. Yeah, good job. Well, listen, my brother. Yeah. It is time for us to grow. Oh. But until next time, yeah. when we teach you another powerful power of us, yeah. my name is Vern. My name is Glenn. We're here to pop you up. Yeah. Hey, kids. In this series, we have learned so far to have good sense when it comes to our money. And we certainly learn important lessons about seeing God as our source and being obedient with giving our tithe, which, if you remember, is 10% of what you have. But as important as it is to be obedient to God and giving the tithe, that is not where we want to stop. We should start trusting God as our source and obeying Him in the tithe, but then we should move up and go to that next level of generosity. 
And the first lesson today is generosity equals going above and beyond obedience. Generosity comes when you take that next step beyond obedience. You're faithfully tithing, giving God the first 10% of the money you have. That is obedience. Then you go beyond that and make a weekly or monthly commitment to either give to BGMC or whatever it causes that we're giving as a church. That is how we go above and we give beyond our tithe and that becomes an offering and that is when we start showing generosity in our lives. You see, we want to give more than just a minimal sometimes in our lives. So while you're still a kid, start with giving your tithe first. That is the first step to being obedient. And every time you receive money, guess what? Give 10% of that to God. Then, as you get older, start to give tithe. But then it's also good to give an offering, which is something that is above the tithe. And as you continue to give an offering, that is when we go from just giving a tithe, but we become generous and we give our tithe and offerings. And there are several people who struggle with being generous in their lives. Do you know why? It is because of a little thing called greed. Can you say that word? Greed. That is not good. You see, greed gets in the way of generosity. A person who struggles with being generous is called greedy. A greedy person live their lives trying to get as much stuff as they can for themselves and they keep it all to themselves. A greedy person doesn't like to share and they don't like to give anything at all. They don't want to share or give their possessions to other people around them. They don't want to give any of their money to the church or help the people in need. They are plain out greedy. The Bible teaches us that we should not live lives as a greedy person. Being greedy is a terrible way to live. When a person lives a life of greed, they say, this is mine. It's all mine and only mine. And they walk in being greedy. But there is a better way to live than being greedy. The better way is to be generous. Can you say that with me? Generous. A generous person realizes that everything, and I mean everything, is a gift from God. They don't try to make as much money and get all these things as they can to keep to themselves. Instead, they freely give and they listen to God and they give to people around them because they are generous. Why do they do that? Because while a greedy person says, this is mine, a generous person says, this is God's. And God wants us to break out of the greed mindset and become generous. Why is that? When I am generous, God gets the glory. The generous person uses their gifts God has given them to help others in need to help build the kingdom of God. Remember what happened to Moses and the Israelites? Their generosity was a blessing to God. God received glory as they allowed generosity to fill their hearts. So I want to say to you guys, let's give generously to the people around us and to God to help build God's kingdom together. It's so easy to be greedy, but let's learn as we learn today to walk generously. So let's pray that God will help us not be greedy, but that we will be generous and give with a cheerful heart. God, we love you. We thank you for who you are. And God, I pray that we wouldn't be people who are greedy. It's so easy to say, this money is mine. It's so easy to say, these toys are mine. These things are mine. But God, I pray that we would change our mindset from being greedy to being people who will walk in generosity. And God, I pray that we would just be able to give freely with a cheerful heart and that we would give to you, God, that we would be obedient to our tithe, that we would give offerings, Lord, to build your kingdom. And God, whenever you speak to us to give something away, I pray that we would listen and that we would be people who will walk in generosity. We love you. We thank you. And God, I just give you all the honor and glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Kids, don't walk in greed, but let's be generous and give as God tells us to give. Love you guys. Next week, we're doing a new series, so be sure to come back to service. Have a great week.